currently we are staying in the cheapest Airbnb in all of the Netherlands. And we want to show you the accommodations you can get for 65 euros. screwed up so bad i just can't like camera no microphone that's bad so we're either filming this vlog on my phone or ah! I'm sure this is the best microphone you've ever heard. Can you hear me now? Microphone acquired. I feel like it needs dinner. I feel like we're starting this all over again. It's just a little less sunny, a little colder. So. You know, there's always something with these vlogs. It's either I screw up the stabilization. You forget the microphone. Forget. Oh God, I can't or believe the can't filters edit the or file. the edit file won't render right. One day we'll film a worry-free vlog, but not today. So we're getting back to the tiny house, the cheapest Airbnb we could find. In the north of the Netherlands, up in Friesland. Town is this town dog. village Come called Hitsum, and the dog is headed for the chicken. So we better here, we better bye -bye. go do that. Finnegan. He's never lived with chickens and he likes to chase birds at the park, so I don't wanna. So when we got here, we started doing video because we are gonna give you like all the shots and show you the cheapest Airbnb in the Netherlands. Then we realized we had a problem and we scrambled and we fixed it. So now we're looking at, at, at our tiny home here out in the village of Hitsum. Finnegan's gonna get some dinner. We have to figure out dinner because we did not bring dinner with us. We are going to cook dinner here because that's what you can do at Airbnbs. You can cook on the, the trusty stovetop. It's actually not as small as I thought it was going to be. The pictures actually did make it look very small. And for being super cheap. This was, I forget, 63 euros, something like that? I'll put yeah. it up there. It's, it's not lit well for vlogging, I will say that though. We've vlogged in worse. We'll vlog in worse again. But now I have this nice backdrop like I'm outside. <laughs> Nate, come back indoors. Oh, I'll come back indoors. Silly. There's a trampoline outside I'd like to jump on. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Finnegan to meet his first pony. The horses were very curious when we were outside and he finally locked eyes with them. I don't think he's ever seen a horse in person. Look, it's a little baby, look. <gasps> oh, they're big, huh, Finnegan? <laughs> look at all of them, they all wanna come over and see. So the Airbnb might not have a lot of space. They may not have a toilet that's in the Airbnb. You gotta walk to it. We'll show you that tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. But they've got horses. They have horses. They have chickens. They have a kitty cat or two. It's nice to be out of the city. Yeah, it is. These horses don't know what to do with us or the dog, and the dog does not know what to do with the horses. Pretty horses. Can I pet your head? That's a pretty horse. Horses are too smart. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. But they love me. Horses love me. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, 
Okay, so we need to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. There's plenty of cooking utensils, plates, bowls. We're gonna have to buy some seasoning and stuff, but we should probably go to the store and figure this out because I'm hungry. All right, so right back out we go. I feel like all we're doing is coming here and leaving here and then coming back here. There's not a lot to do in here, so... We're experiencing the least money you can spend on an Airbnb. And still get out of the city, have, I don't know, a little 24 hour adventure, see somewhere new and different that honestly we'd probably never come to this city. This isn't a city, this is a place. There is a church with bells just like going off right next door to where we are. There's pears on the trees. Pear trees, pears. Apparently I've been informed the apples are all gone. Yeah, there's only one left on like that tree over there, but there's a bunch of pears. I think it's time to show the good people the bathroom situation here at the cheapest Thank Airbnb. Goodness, there is a bathroom. <laughs> Barely. So in this building, which is the stables, there's actually an animal over there. I think it, oh, it's a mini horse. Scared me, didn't realize that was gonna be happening. Um, but this is where you come in to use the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. So pretty, pretty bare bones. I'm a little frightened by how many spiders I'm seeing around me. Um, but yeah, so. Not gonna lie, that cat just scared me to death. Like people who live in this house right here just saw us through their like kitchen window and just waved at us, smiled. So they think we're insane bloggers, apparently. Yeah, I guess I don't really think about the camera because I'm like, they probably see people that are renting this Airbnb, you know, come and go. So it's nothing new, but like probably not filming themselves for a tiny house like this. Probably not. Trailblazers. We're trailblazers. Yeah. I could never do van life. There's just no space anywhere. Like, we're just crammed in here. The groceries are in the sink. The dog's under our feet. We're a mess. It's very muddy and wet outside. Nightmare. Nightmare, she said. In case you guys didn't know, Nate is the chef in this relationship. Nate cooks probably six out of seven nights a week, and I don't. I clean the dishes. That's right. And then me and Finn, we just wait and then we eat. You want the water that you boil the pasta in to have the salinity of the ocean. Bon appetit, ate smackalack, dinner is served, all that good stuff. How's that Instagram game going, Katrina? All these people already follow you on Instagram. Nate and Katrina, Instagram, do it. Don't follow us, follow us, because a lot of times there's like previews of things that we're doing and it's more instant, if you will. Okay, that was really good. We have decided it is too cold in the tiny house and we'd like to start the heater. I was shown how to start the heater earlier, don't really remember how to do it. So we'll give it a try. There's a liquid in this bottle and there's a fire in this lighter. Is that right? Uh -huh. Just let it be known, I lit the heater. It smells like gas. It smells terrible now. I don't wanna die in this tiny home. I do not wanna die from gas. Ugh, oh, it smells so bad. If this is the end of the vlog, no. It's been real. <laughs> I don't want to die. And where the fuck are we? Hit, hit some. Hit, hit, hit some. I don't want to die here. Is 
So the bathroom is literally in a barn. A barn with a horse. And I needed to see the horse so I like shone the light into the stable, or the barn, whatever you want to call it. And literally didn't see the horse until I saw like his eye just like this. Like, <sighs> it was the scariest thing ever because I'm kind of afraid of the dark. I don't know. He seems friendly, but good times going to the bathroom. Tiny house. Okay, it's been a fun night in our tiny house, in our 65 euro Airbnb. Has it? It's been good. <laughs> now we're gonna make the bed, so let's make the bed. But he's so cozy. Bed, make. The make the bed. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Oh God, I can only imagine what this looks like right now. Okay, it's like, um, Actually, not that late, but we're it's tired. Not that late. <laughs> and there's we're not just, a lot else to we're do. We're lame. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to bed. Got my bird comforter. Got my bright freaking light right above my face. Living my best life in my 65 euro room. I love how I'm making a bed for the dog on the floor. And let's be honest, the dog is not going to be sleeping on the floor. I hope the dog sleeps on the floor. Why, though? Because this such is a not. Good boy. I love the dog. There's just not enough space on the bed. Well, he comes on my side, so. He might like it down here better. Good night. You don't have to be by that mean man. How dare you. <laughs> Good night. He's watching chickens out the window. That's hilarious. Hey, rooster. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. He's coming for you, oh, Finn. No. All right, we survived the night here in the tiny house. How'd you sleep, Katrina? Not great. The bed actually was quite comfortable. The bed was actually not bad. But I had a 75 pound dog on my legs for most of the night, so. The sun's starting to come up. I think we need some breakfast. I've never bought these pre-made panic Culkin before from the store, but we did. I thought it would be easier to make these this morning than try and go from scratch. We'll see. We're gonna go uh, savory. Ham and cheese on the pancakes. So how's your stay been? <laughs> it's been interesting. I'm just trying to think if I've ever stayed in something as small as this that wasn't like a camper or an RV or something. I don't think that I have. So it's very interesting. And then you start going like, could we do this? Could we like do van life? And, no. And go around and, you know, live off grid, blah, 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 like what everyone else says. No, I 100% could not and do not want to. <laughs> Sorry to all the van lifers out there, like more power to you. It's just not my scene. I, I, I need, need a shower. I need a shower. I was just gonna say, I like my two showers a day and a bathroom that you don't have to like gear up to go out and use. And share with a pony. The pony was fine and then I discovered kitty cats there this morning too. You know, it's an adventure going to the bathroom here. I think it's fun. This is fun for a night. And now I'd like to go take a shower. I've been lying to you this whole video. It's 65 euros, but there's a cleaning fee and there's a service charge that ends up being more. But this was still literally the cheapest Airbnb we could find that had like, you know, walls and a roof. So, here we are. He's purring. Look at his cute little spot on his face. The weather is admittedly not great. This actually might be pretty fun in like the spring or maybe a month ago. Summer would be rough because there's no air conditioning and it would be hot and sweaty. I saw mosquito nets in there. The pear trees are nice. There's fruit on the trees. You can pick and eat. Eat off the ground if you're a chicken, whatever you want. Man, I do like just the space. So despite no shower and a dubious night of sleep, 
wasn't that bad. I think you could do a lot worse. I think so too. It was comfortable-ish. The location is interesting because there is a town that's somewhat close. So like if you wanted to go out to dinner or something, you could. But I think this is more like self-contained. Like. Did you go for a swim, Finnegan? gross that water is too like the algae all <laughs> I just saw a tail flailing did I spit on myself a oh a bug gross oh my god <laughs> don't go back all right well there's your wrap up oh for you gosh. we're gonna go home soon come stay at a tiny house Maybe in the summertime when it's a little bit nicer weather. Or right now. This has potential. We're here. I see blue sky. Looking up. We have a trampoline. Make the most of it. <laughs>